Okay, so we're going to talk about uh, a very simple API macro. Um, API scripting does amazing things for your old 20. It is scripting, so it can be very complicated. Or if you are into scripting, it could be very simple and provide you with a lot of cool features and uh, all that good stuff. Uh, thus far, we haven't talked about API in um, any of our tutorial videos. So let's jump into it. This script is for changing the ability of a token to see and what sort of lighting it is benefiting from or creating. So this is a very useful macro. The first thing we need to do is go to our campaign page, the login page, and we're gonna scroll down and go to settings and we're gonna select from the drop down menu API scripts. All right, see there's some red font here with a red background. They really want you to know that this is at your own risk, um, API scripts. Uh, so we're going to go down here to script library and we are going to select by typing into the field token mod. There we go. Token mod does a lot of stuff. Uh, the Aaron has provided the community with an absolutely amazing um, script here that could do all sorts of crazy cool things. Um, I'm not going to go into any of the details of it because I am just here for my lighting uh, macro and my lighting macro uh, feeds off of this macro. But I am telling you, like, once you start getting into API, things like that, you can start uh, turning your Dungeons and Dragons game or any, you know, tabletop game into a video game-esque experience with a lot of really great quality of life features. So... Uh, I'm going to scroll down to the bottom, and I'm going to agree to install this thing. Here we go. Add script. Nice big bright blue button. All right, success. So it's got to boot up. Yep, cool. I've got it. I'm ready to go. So now we're going to go back to our Roll20 login page. And we're going to log into it. So here we go. Launch game. Now, again, this is a macro that feeds off of an API script. So that API script is running in the background, uh, which is cool. And we're going to create our own macro that will allow us to basically manipulate the script that's running in the background and make it do stuff for us. So uh, this is the Delian tomb. Here are some adventurers that somehow have survived this far into the adventure. Uh, Chamomile, using Control L. She has dark vision and can see in the dark. So in areas that aren't lit, uh, she would be able to see, you know, in the dark. Uh, let's see. Let's get this torch out of here. That might make it a little bit more clear. There we go. Dim light, all that jazz. John is a human. He doesn't have dark vision. He can't see anything. Again, to see through my the miniatures, I'm selecting them and doing control L. So John would light a torch, and in another video we talked about making a torch, so he would drag the torch in, and now he can see because the torch is creating light. Alright, so we're going to make a script that you just click a button, and it asks you, like, what's your lighting situation, and then it automatically fixes your miniature uh, accordingly. So, to make macros, you're going to go to the top, and you're going to go to the collection tab. It is three dots and three lines. And then we're going to go to macro and we're going to hit add macro. We're going to click on that new untitled macro. We're going to call it lighting. And then you're just going to paste in the script, which I will link in the description. There we go. So as you can see, this is legitimate, like, you know, scripting language here. Um, but basically it's querying, uh, when you push the button, like what is your lighting situation? And then it is, uh, you can see that right here. And then it is giving you a bunch of options, which is represented by these guys right here. And then it is referencing the token mod. So it's activating the token mod and then using the scripts, that huge script that we installed. 
uh, it automatically sets the lighting uh, for the token. Pretty cool. All right, so we're going to set it as a token action, and we're even going to make it so the players can change their own stuff. Um, will players use this to cheat? I don't know. I guess. Uh, does, I mean, it's, you know, that's, that's a topic for another video. Um, but anyways, uh, it's definitely going to save you as a DM some time if players have the ability to turn their own torches on and off, uh, that sort of thing. Uh, Alright, so we're going to go ahead. If you don't want them to have access to it, of course, you could just leave it and then it's just for you. But, you know, I trust my players. Uh, Alright, so we're going to do save changes. Alright, so now we have lighting. So, now, let's get rid of this torch again. And we'll establish that John can't see anything. Okay. But, John has a lighting button now. So if I click on lighting, I could say that he is lighting a torch. Hit submit. Oh my goodness. Now he can see. Pretty cool. Uh, and then let's say John uh, decides that um, he needs uh, something better. Something more than a torch. So we go to lighting. And he casts the daylight spell. Bam. It's going to be even brighter, even bigger than it was before. If... Uh, he goes into the room and the daylight spell fails and he can no longer see anything uh, we can always go to lighting and turn it off altogether so now he can't see you know he has he has no means of uh, creating light there's just the light that is being created by the room itself this guy right here so if this went away John would be left in the dark so, uh, pretty cool. Uh, let's see. But, yeah, I mean, that's that's that, you know. Uh, hopefully you find this to be a useful script. Uh, it can be very useful if you have, like, goblins uh, that you dragged in from the monster manual and they don't have lighting, uh, but you want to be able to see through them. You could go here and make sure that they have dark vision turned on. And then jump into the miniature and then creep around, see if you can see adventurers or not. Um, yeah, so that's all it was. Uh, activate the token mod scripts, come in, uh, paste in that thing into your macro, and bam, you've got your own lighting uh, tool. So uh, hopefully this is useful to you, and I'll see you in the next video.